now our probability problems will get a little bit more interesting. So let's say I have a bag full of coins. So this is my bag of coins. It's my maybe it's a bowl of coins. So I have a bunch of coins in there. Right? I didn't need to draw it, but I did anyway. And let's say that I know that nine of these coins, nine of them are normal. So what do I mean by normal? It's just, you know, let's say they're quarters and they have a heads and a tails and that there's a 50% chance of getting a heads or a 50% chance of a tails if you flip any of those coins. And then one of the coins is a two-sided head coin, two-sided head. So essentially, no matter what you flip it, it's going to be a heads, right? So I have this bag, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, blindfold myself, take stick my hand in the bag and pick a coin out. And then I'm going to flip that coin, I don't know, I'm going to flip it five times. And my question to you is, what is the probability that I get all five to be heads? So the probability, probability that I get five heads, five out of five heads. So whenever you see something unfamiliar, it'll always work. It's good to do, you know, maybe we'll do a tree or we'll do a hybrid of a probability tree or something else. But you say, well, at the very beginning of this experiment, something happens. I'm going to pick a, a coin out of this bag. And so you could say that there's a, well, how many coins are there? There's 10 coins. And I have an equal probability of picking any one of the coins. Let's say I can't feel whether it's heads or tails. So I'm not, I'm doing it with gloves on, right? So I can't feel out the two side, head-sided coins. So you take, take my word for it, there's an equal probability to take any one of these 10 coins. Right? There's nine normal, one weird, with, only, with two heads on it. right? So what's the probability that I get a normal coin? So the probability of a normal. Well, that's, there are nine normal coins out of the 10 equally likely coins I could get. So the probability of a normal is 9 out of 10. So there's a 9 out of 10 chance that this is a normal coin. This is called that normal. And then what's the probability that I get a, um, let's call it a 2s two-sided coin. I'll call it 2s. Well, that's just 1 out of 10. I'm, I'm either going to get this or that. I'm not going to take nothing out of the bag, I assume. OK, so this is a 1 tenth side chance that I get a two-sided coin, right? And then whichever coin I, I get, I'm going to flip it five times in a row. And I'm not going to do the tree here, because it drew you know, a tree, you know, I'd have 32 nodes on each side. But given this, given the normal, what is now the probability of, of getting five in a row? And the way I'm going to write that is the probability of five heads, or you, you know, I could have written five out of five heads or whatever. And then this upward line, this means given, given that I have a normal coin. So if I can assume that I had a normal coin, what are the probabilities that my next five, so I'll say this is five out of five heads. Well, we figure that out. Each time, there's a 1 half probability. And, and I'm going to do it five in a row. So it's 1 half to the fifth, which equals 1 over 32. So the probability that I get five out of five heads given a normal coin is 1 out of 32. Fair enough. Well, what's the probability? What's the probability of five out of five heads, five out of five heads, given the two-sided coin? And I'm, this is just random notation. I'm coming up with the two-sided. But this, this upward and downwards line, this vertical line, that means given. Well, that's I'm definitely going to get. All, I mean, I could I could I could flip this coin a million times, and all of them are going to be heads. So the probability here is one out of one, right? I'm definitely going to get a heads here. So, what is the poss what I what are the probabilities of so all I asked initially is what are the what is the probability that I get 5 out of 5 heads? Well, this is going to be equal to and I'll switch colors arbitrarily here just to keep things interesting. This is going to be equal to the probability that you get 5 out of 5 heads given let's call that a normal coin given a normal coin times the probability that you had a normal coin times the probability of let's say normal right plus and i'm running a little bit of space the probability that you get 5 out of 5 
heads given the two-sided coin times the probability that you had the two-sided coin. Hopefully that makes sense, and you can kind of think of it in this way. You know, what is what is the probability of getting to this outcome? It is the probability that you picked a normal coin, and then given the normal coin, there's a one in thirty-two chance that you got there. So it'd be one in thirty-two times the chance you got the normal coin. So nine out of ten. And what's the probability of getting here? What's well, the probability that you 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 had to? And in general, in a tree, you just have to multiply all of the nodes to get to that point to figure out what's the probability of getting there. And I think you. It, if you watch the first few videos, it makes sense why that happens. So what's the probability of this? Well, there's a one-tenth chance that you picked the two-sided coin. And then, of course, then you're guaranteed to get all heads. So then this is, this is one, 1 times one-tenth. And all I did here and here is the same thing that I wrote up here. Let me switch colors. So what is, so what is this? The probability of five out of five heads given a normal coin times the probability of the normal coin. Well, that's just this. This is the probability of five out of five heads given the normal coin times the probability of a normal coin, and this is equal to what? Nine over three hundred and twenty. Nine over three hundred twenty, and then this, the probability of five out of five heads given the two-sided coin times the probability of the two-sided coin. Well, this is the probability of five out of five heads given the two-sided coin. You're guaranteed to get five out of five. And the probability of getting a two-sided coin is 1 out of 10. So 1 out of 10. This is this. So this is equal to 1 tenth. So my probability of you know, just putting my hand in the bag, taking out a random coin, and then flipping it five times, and getting all five heads is going to be equal to this plus this. So it's 9 over 320 plus. 1 over 10, but let's make that as 300. So it's 320, that's 32 over 320. So 9 plus 32 is 41 over 320. So that's interesting. But now let me ask you even a even a more interesting question. And and this is something that you know this this is why I think you know what we've learned so far is useful. What let's let's say that. I do get five out of five heads, so I know that I got five out of five heads. So let me let me clear this up a little bit, just because I think it's getting over. So let's say that I do get five out of five heads. What is the probability that I picked the two-sided coin? So what we're asking is, what is the probability that I picked the two-sided coin, given that I got five out of five heads? And I hope you understand what this, what what I'm, what I mean here. Before we said, oh, you know, like for example, I hope you see the difference between this and what is the probability of getting five out of five heads, five out of five heads, given the two-sided coin. Well, this is, you know, if if I know I have a two-sided coin, I know that the probability is equal to one. I know that I'm guaranteed to get five heads. But this is a little bit more interesting. If I flip a coin five times in a row and I get a bunch of heads, I'll say, well. I either got, you know, maybe really lucky with a normal coin or I picked the two-sided coin. And I don't know which one I ha- happened. So there's a probability I have to, to and so and of course the more times you get a heads, just intuitively, if I got 100 heads in a row, I'll say, "Well, I probably picked the two-sided coin." Or if I, you know, without actually just looking at the coin, we're assuming that that's not acceptable. You know, and if I got a million heads in a row, we'd be really really sure that we picked the two-sided coin, but we're not completely sure. There's some probability that I picked the fair coin and it just happened to get heads a million times in a row. So how do we think about this? Well, I'll 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 do it analytically, and I'll I'll draw it out, and hopefully um, both of them will make sense to you, and I'll probably have to do it in the next video.